Hi guys, this is a video on game emulation and I'm going to start with the question Would you like to play some Game Boy Color games, some NES games and some Commodore 64 games without downloading any ROMs or any emulators and not having flash games on the internet which are alternate versions which, which aren't the real ROMs anyway Would you like to be able to play them on your PC? No hassle, just by visiting a website or a couple of websites uh, well, this is possible. Uh, some previously, I wrote, I wrote a, uh, I made a video even of um, people who had made, remade some games in Flash. I, had, I think it was twelve games or something, where people had made things like Sonic, but it wasn't the proper Sonic. It was just done in Flash. Now, this is actually getting down to the core and to the proper games and actually emulating these games for you. Now, it doesn't use Flash though. It uses Java. So you need to have Java installed on your computer, that's important, but other than that you can get cracking now. So we'll start with the Game Boy Online emulator. So a guy who's come up with, um, he's made an emulator for the Game Boy Color. So if we just load the page just to show you, um, starts up my little Java thing. And eventually, if it works, There is one disadvantage with obviously using Java. Java is quite a slow thing to use. So you'll notice that you've now got a picture of a Game Boy and it says load ROM, configure keys, X2 video mode, X1 video mode. On the right hand side you can configure your keys to use and we'll just load a ROM. And as you can see we've got Super Mario Land, Driver, Final Fantasy, Motocross, all the different, these are all the ROMs you can load in, Earthworm Jim, all the classic ones, uh, Pokemon Harrier, which I've never heard of. I'm not sure if they actually have the good old Pokemon blue or red or anything like that it doesn't look like they do because you're stuck with um, more games saying here we go um, you're stuck with the ones that they have done you can't add your own in if you do want to use ones off your computer but there are quite a good um, few here so I am looking for I'm gonna run what am I gonna run Mario so I'm gonna say okay and it says the run was loading there Super Mario Land um, now you'll notice that it's running quite fast on my computer. Now I don't know if this is me or if I can change it somehow. I don't know what X2 video mode does. If I say, oh this is a control config. X2, now it still runs quite fast. So if anyone knows how to slow this one down for me, it may be because of my computer or it may be because of something else. Um, then please let me know. There must be a slow down thing that you can use for the web. But this is playing the, the original games. so. Um, next up is VNES. Uh, this is a virtual NES emulator. All you need to do is scroll through, find your game you want. Uh, I don't know if they've got Mario for the NES. Uh, Mario Brothers. So uh, you see it loads up the page and it's already loaded. And if you can hear the sound. So you've got sound as well. And I'm not sure of the controls. don't know if it will show it. That just sort of shows it in the, in the box. Um, right, there we go. So, yeah, left and right, and then X and Z, it looks like. So, again, these are the original games. So, you just look for there's loads here Metal Gear things, loads that you can use. Uh, vast database here. I'm not sure how many they've got in total, but as you can see, there's quite a few, and it shows you the nationality as well. So, this is VNES. Now, exactly the same sort of service um, is every video game, but you can have a search and you can search for your game you want. And then, I don't know if I say Mario again in here. Uh, no games found. Oh, okay then. Uh, I'll just randomly search through uh, Adventures of Captain Comic. I'll have that then. And it's emulated by ne <laughs> NES Cafe. Very good. And. Um, but you can rate them, and then you've got forum as well. So click to activate the game. Play the good old NES. Also, I think I'll close this for the fact that, the fact that it makes noise. There's one that's for Commodore. It's Commodore co top <coughs> CommodoreGaming.com, and uh, you can select which ones you want to play. I don't know. Play the good old. Um, oh, oh, I've forgotten the name of it now. Uh, asteroid, ast no, it's not asteroids. It's alien, alien something. 
Oh, I can't believe I've forgotten. It's such a classic game. Anyway, uh, so we're going to try and play this. How do we play? When you start playing, be sure to have the num lock on your keyboard. Uh, so you can set the speed here. NTSC, PAL, half PAL, two times PAL. Well, at the moment, I'm trying to play. Oops. Well, I've got my num lock on, but it's not doing anything. So, uh, select stick one or stick two. Oh, <laughs> stick one, right. Start game. There we go. I apologise for being stupid. And as you can see, it's playing and playing through Java. This is done through Java as well. I just already had it loaded. So, if you want your fix of retro gaming, then there are websites that will cater for your needs. So, thanks for watching my video. This is online emulation through Java. Um, that's about it, so please rate, comment, subscribe if you like my videos. If you've found any more sites that do other consoles apart from Commodore, NES and Game Boy, then let me know. Uh, thanks for watching my video.